Hi, this is demo of a uh, USB hacking tool made by HackFi called the Bash Bunny. And you can see here the Bash Bunny is plugged in on the left hand side here. And the Bash Bunny has an attack called Quick Creds installed on it. And the whole goal of Quick Creds is to steal the user's credentials without the user ever uh, attacker ever logging on to the user's machine. So here is a, a Windows laptop. Um, running Windows 10 uh, on my Surface Pro 2 laptop, okay, and you can see here also Bash Bunny has been plugged in and is showing up as an E drive, and within the E drive there's a folder called Loot. Within Loot there's a folder called Quick Creds, and right now there's nothing in Quick Creds. So I'm going to go ahead and inject or eject uh, the Bash Bunny, so we don't need that anymore, and get ready for the attack here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and unplug the Bash Bunny and locked the user machine. Control Delete, and now the user is locked, or the machine is locked. You can see here, I can just type anything in, and it's a locked machine. So this is simulating a user walking away to a meeting, walking away to lunch, away from his or her PC, and the uh, machine is locked. And so the user thinks that the machine is protected. Now, uh, as an attacker or uh, red team tester we can come by with a, a USB uh, bash bunny tool here I'll set it into the attack mode loaded with quick creds and I'm gonna go ahead and just plug it in and this whole time the machine is still locked right so the user machine is protected here and you can see here on the left hand side the bash bunny um, it's loading up with a white light that just indicates the machine or the USB key is loading. And then followed by a series of lights, and you'll see some flashing green lights. There it is, flashing green uh, very quickly. And now it follow up by a solid green light. So in Bash Bunny coding sense, when the light is green, the trap is clean, the attack is done. So at this point, the attacker can quickly grab the key and walk away and this whole attack in this whole time took no more than 30 seconds or so so now let's see what we uh, capture on the bash bunny so I'm going to go ahead and log into the machine here okay and I'm going to set this back to arming mode to view what we picked up Okay, so now it's uh, it's going to load up here. I'm going to zoom in on the computer a little bit. And we'll see the Bash Bunny drive show up. Okay, let's go back to File Explorer and go down to Bash Bunny. You can see that. You can see that the uh, th there's a loot directory as I showed you earlier. There's quick creds. And within Quick Creds, there's a new folder called Surface 2 uh, PC, and I open that up, and there's a bunch of files. And within that, there's a file called Proxy Auth NTLM. Let's go ahead and open up that file. Use a WordPad. And there you see there's a bunch of information, starting with Jerry, which is my uh, user login here for this PC. It's on Surface Pro 2. And here's all my hash information listed for my login to this machine here. Okay, and there you have it. Now, Bash Bunny has demonstrated that using Quick Creds, it can steal the user's hash without ever logging into a locked machine.